Hello and welcome to Taekwondo Training. I'll be your instructor for today's show, Bob Lemire. What we'd like to do on today's class is do something a little different. Um, this right here is an umbrella, okay? Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, is show you a couple of uh, different self-defense um, techniques that we can use uh, using an umbrella, all right? Um, we, all need, we all need protection. We don't want to carry a gun. Uh, I'll carry a gun all the time. And... Um, you know, you don't, want, you don't want to walk around uh, with a bat or, or a five iron golf club or something. If, if, if people see you walking around with that, I, I guarantee you they're going to leave you alone. Um, but you don't do that. So, you know, a lot of times people carry umbrellas all the time, even if it's a sunny day or whatever, with them just in case. Um, and it can be used as a weapon. All right? you, all, you know that anyway. Uh, but I'm going to show you a couple of different exercises we can use uh, if someone attacks us and we can use these umbrellas. Um, if you're walking, if you're walking uh, you know, alone or, or going to your car and you have an umbrella like this or something in your hand, uh, I just read on Facebook the other day that 99% uh, of, of criminals that they talk to um, will, will say that they will not attack a woman who has some kind of uh, object in their hand that they can get hit with. They want someone who's very um, easy and accessible to uh, attack. And they, they kind of figure if you have something in your hand, they're going to get hit. Nobody wants to get hit. So the thing is, <clears throat> it's good to have something in your hand, especially if you're a woman and you're walking alone to the mall or whatever, or, or, or even a, you know, someone younger. Um, teach, them, teach them some of this, these moves that we're going to show you tonight. Now, if you have an umbrella or a stick or something, you can make leave it an umbrella and just go along with some of the exercises. Very easy. Very easy. Thing is, um, <clears throat> so this is, this is a golf umbrella, all right? Uh, so it's a little longer and stuff. And uh, sharp, a sharp top, all right? I, I don't know. I won't open it up. Uh, I'm, I'm scared of bad luck. You don't open up an umbrella indoors. But um, sharp top. I, I have a, a soft uh, handle here, but a lot of them have real hard handles, all right? That's perfect for what you need to defend yourself. So this is going to be a two-part series. Today I'm going to show you some very easy exercises to, to do, and the next show I'm going to have some here, and I'm going to do those exercises on someone attacking me. All right, so first one is, uh, you, you know, you're, 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 a lot of people, they, they'll hold an uh, umbrella this way, all right? They'll walk, they'll walk maybe like this. Or, or they hold their umbrella like this, all right? Um, <clears throat> what you want to do is make sure that when you have, when you're holding the umbrella and you're walking, you want to be able to, if you're carrying a pocketbook and someone's going to attack you, drop the pocketbook and now you have the umbrella and you're ready, or whatever you have in your hand, all right? <clears throat> Some people have walking sticks, even better, a walking stick. Anything that's hard. Now, someone's coming at you. You have your umbrella and you're walking. Um, as they're coming at you, get into, get into your stance, right? Get into a stance, right? The fighting stance, right? Now, from this position here, see how I grab the umbrella this way, all right? So I have the umbrella here, oh, it's here, boom. Now, I can use this as, a, as an attack. So I'm here, I have the umbrella, boom. They come at they try to grab me. I'm hitting them with a hard pot. Either side's going to be hard. And some of the umbrellas... This is, has a plastic tip. Some of them have a, a, um, a metal tip at the top, right? Uh, some of them are sharp. You get hit with that, boy, I'm telling you, it's, it's going to stop you in your tracks. So you're here, boom, you come back. Now, look at, I have the umbrella. I have total control of this umbrella or, or walking cane or anything. All right, someone's going to grab me. Boom, I'm just going to come in. Now, you throw a punch this way. Look at, you snap it, all right? You can always, you know, boom. You can always hit someone like this, or, or if you have it, you can swing it. And you start swinging at people, they're going to stay away. Any part of an umbrella you get hit with, it's going to hurt. All right? I got it all rolled up here, snapped in. You're here. Someone coming in, boom, right to the head. All right? Right to the jaw. So I can come down, boom, here. I can come down here, boom, to the side. I can come on the knee. So if they're going to come and grab, boom, right to the groin area. Snap it here. Right, that's with the hard end. All right. 
You have the umbrella, someone grabs you, boom. Look at it. If it's, if it's in my hand here, I come straight down on their head. All right? When you get hit with a, again, it's like when you get thrown a punch, all right, just the, the two, two knuckles are going to hit. A shot, little area of concentration of power to an area on your face or your head. That concentration of power, it goes, it, it, it extends you. It, it sends so much, all right, because of the power you're putting in, all right, boom, that you knock them out or break a jaw or it'll stop the attacker. So you're here, boom, up, one, two, how's that? One, to the right, to the left. <clears throat> Someone's coming at you in a parking lot and they see you with the umbrella and you're, you're in a stance like this. You're in a stance like They're going to go, whoa, all right, maybe I got the wrong person. All right. Uh, as they said in, in the article I read, and they were talking about, they were talking to criminals about how easy it is to uh, attack a woman or what they look for. And they're looking for someone on their cell phone with nothing in their hands that they can just grab. All right. And they're not looking around. You've got to keep looking around. Put the cell phone away, get to your car, start your car up and, and go. Well, look at your cell phone later on. When you're alone and you're walking, even in a mall parking lot, all right, <clears throat> you've got to be aware of what's around you because they're waiting, and they are waiting out there. You hear it every day. Be prepared, all right? And if you just practice, if you practice standing in front of a mirror, getting into a stance, coming here, one, two, all right? One, two, then three, all right? So you can go one, two, three, four. How's that? We can make them up. I'm making them up as I go along right now. I have this in my hand. Never mind, I know Taekwondo, and I'll throw a kick and I'll throw punches. But now I've got a weapon. The only thing that I would worry about right now is a gun. If you get a gun, you've got to watch yourself. You, you know, you don't go be attacking someone who's pointing a gun with you. You see how you can get out of that situation. But <clears throat> if you had a knife, I'm going to fight him with this, and I, I'm going to win. All right? I'm going after him full force. All right? Everything you have, you're coming at that person. All right, guarantee you, you hit him with one good shot, he might go down or he's running. All right, and as you're doing that, scream, yell, haw, yell, fire, boom, boom. All right, you can also, you hear, one, two, and three, kick. All right, you don't want to kick high, you're one, two, kick, groin area. All right, one, two, all right, one. Now, I notice as I throw these, I'm, I'm, here's my punch, I'm snapping it out, I'm snapping it out. And that'll give you full uh, power and speed. And so you just practice. Bah, bah. Standing here. Up, bah, bah, bah. Look at it, I have total control. Bah. <coughs> practice that a couple of one, two, low, low, high, low, bah, bah. What a good workout you're going to get. All right? And uh, you're going to learn how to use the, uh, the umbrella as a, as a, a weapon, defense. They're coming down. They have their own pipe, or they have, guaranteed they're not going to attack you with an umbrella. They have a pipe, or they have something, uh, maybe even a knife. You're here. Choom! They're coming down. You're going to block it. Choom! They're coming down this way. Choom! Kick. Now, as they're coming down like this, they're coming down like this. I'm guaranteed if someone's attacking you, a mugger or someone who, who wants to do you harm, they're not going to be too intelligent, and they're not, they have no idea how to fight. They're coming down like this. That means they're going to be wide open. Take advantage of that situation. Block. All right? You come down. Block. You blocked whatever they had. They're going to be wide open. You're going to throw that kick midsection. You're going to throw that kick to the groin area. All right? You're going to throw a side thrust kick. Block. Boom. Right to the knee. Knock, take the knee right out. You practice little, uh, little different combinations. All right? So... Say they grab you, all right? They grabbed you, Vroom. they grab me here. The minute they grab me, choo, I'm coming up, all right? I come right up under here, knock them right out. Break their jaw, knock them out, or, or the umbrella's gonna go up underneath them. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's ruthless, all right? It's, it's kind of lethal, um, but you have to defend yourself. And something as easy as carrying an umbrella with you, 
when, even if it's a sunny day and you know you're going to be alone at night, walking back to your car and you're in the parking lot, you don't want to be scared, all right? You have this in your hand and be prepared. You see someone coming. You see someone suspicious coming. Just get ready. Just get ready. Ha have it ready. If they see that, now they're thinking twice. Right? They'll find someone who's not prepared, who's going to be looking at their iPad or whatever or their iPhone and not pay attention, and they grab them. So constantly be aware of that. You don't have to be young. You could be an older person to be able to do this. Da, da, right? One, two, up. Right? I'm here. They grab me. I come straight up. They have me with both hands. They're holding me. Come straight up. I've got the umbrella. I'm coming up. All right? Midsection, low section. All right? to the groin area, to the midsection. Once you hit them here, come up around. There's combinations, you just use your hands, flay your hands around, all right? And believe me, that sharp point there, when that hits you, boy, if it hits you in the eye, hits you in the face, hits you in the throat, the stomach, it's going to stop the opponent, all right? I think almost every woman will have one of these big umbrellas, not maybe this high, but even if it's a shorter one, that's even more uh, control you'll have. All right. So think about that. All right. It's, it's, it's a weapon. It's like a bat. All right. You could take it and you could swing it. They're coming at you as hard as you can. Boom. All right. Look at Boom. Louis, Louisville Slugger, Carlton Fisk. Boom. All right. You're holding it this way. You can hold it this way. You can hold it this way, this way. Right? One, two, three, block. All right? Block. Boom. They're coming around with a stick like this. Zoom. All right? Look how easy that is. How easy is it? I mean, it doesn't take you to practice much, this. But you have to be aware. You look at their eyes. Where's their hands coming from? Boom. Boom. Right? And then, bah. You follow up with any kick. You can follow up with any kick, and you can follow up with any hand technique you want also. One, two, three. You see what I'm saying? You have total control. All right? uh, you get a little fancy. All right, you have it. Someone's coming. How's that? How about someone's going to attack you, and, and they see this. Wow. <laughs> They're going to go, well, I've never seen that before. He's got an umbrella. Come on. Let's make a move. What are you going to do, right? From here, ta! All right? We're getting fancy. All right, so I have the umbrella here. Right. See how I came back? Look at it. Now I've got total control. And I'm in a stance, and I've got some kind of movement that they've never seen, maybe. And they, they, they don't know what the next move is. I could throw a kick. I don't even have to use this thing if I want. They, so they, look at this. Then I drop. Ta! Ta! Just like it would have a pole attack, all right? Or have a pole and work with a pole. It's the same thing. It's a pole with a piece of cloth on it, all right? Oh, choo, choo, choo. See how I just practice that? Just, just fool around. Da, 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 right? Da, da, da. But one, two, three, four, five, da. Just go around. Have some fun with it. <coughs> and as you're going here, choo, See how I drop? I come back here. I drop my hand. Boom. Right? Da, da, da. Right? That's an umbrella. Right? Boom. Right? One, two, hit ya. Come back in. Stab. Someone's, you know, you're walking, someone grabs you from behind. Boom. They're grabbing you from behind. You didn't even hear, see them coming. You feel something from behind you. Look at it. Right to the middle. Look at it. You pick it up. Yeah. Pick it up. <laughs> to the groin area, to the midsection. All right. Come up, even to the jaw. All right. I'm up. All I did was pick it up here. I'm sliding my hand. And I'm driving it behind me. Someone's behind me. You notice I'll get into some kind of stance for balance. When I'm going to, um, when I'm going to do anything, punch, kick, knife attack, pull, any, anything I'm going to do, 
As I'm going to do it, I'm going to get into my stance for balance. I'm, gonna, I'm not, not going to be standing in this kind of stance here, all right, fighting in a regular parallel stance. You want to have that stance where you can go forward or back and you can move. And I call it tripod because if I had another leg, look at it. It's a tripod for a camera that holds cameras up, all right? And what that does is it, it takes the balance, it takes gravity and puts it right in the middle. Now you can move back and forth. And that's, the, that's important, even when, you, when you're using an umbrella. All right, I might be in a little longer stance, a forward stance as I'm attacking. Or even when I, I went to a back stance, with this. All right, I like the back stance when I'm doing this move. For some reason, it looks, uh, it looks better. All right. So how was that? That's, that's a couple of little easy lessons. Now there's, there's also, in, in the next show I'm going to have someone here so that I can show you loops inside and out when they grab you, all right, and then how you can hit, all right, and how you can get out, you know, when they have you with both hands or one hand, how you take it, you loop around, now you've got their arm in an arm lock, you can get them in an arm lock, it's a little advanced, but you can practice it, um, and then do your, your next move. But today, what I'd like you to do is if you, if you have an umbrella, you have even just a, a cane or a stick, boy, get in front of the mirror, watch the show, do a couple of the little things that I'm showing you. One, two, like, do, do, right? You're not going to just go, ah, and you start swinging. Because as you swing and you're not in control, that's when they, if they miss, if you miss, they can jump on you. If you stay here and you're in control, one, two, ah, ah. Look at you could keep coming. You miss them, come on, come back, come on back. I want you to come up. Grab me. Once you grab me, you, you one of your hands are holding me. I'm coming on the other side. I'm gonna hit you with the butt. All right? I'm gonna hit you with the butt of the uh, umbrella. Or I'm gonna hit you with the tip of the umbrella. Either one of them. All right. <clears throat> As I say, the tips of umbrellas, some of them, you know what I mean. This one's got a plastic kind of a, a flat top. Some of them are pointy. You come over here and you hit them in the face. Wow, a lot of damage, even across the body. They're sharp. <clears throat> it's like walking around. It's like walking around the mall going home with, with a knife or almost a, a, you know, a machete in your hand or a sword. That's what you have in your hand if you know how to use it right. Not too many people want to attack you or, or give you too much of a hard time when you have a weapon in your hand. And even now, next, next show, I'll bring a small umbrella, the compact, how you can use that, all right, as an attack. Because it's a hard, anything hard, all right, in your hand uh, is a weapon, is a weapon. If you practice, all right, just a couple little different moves, it's going to stop your opponent. And that's what I, I'm trying to do with this show, is show you some martial arts that are so easy that everyone can do it, all right, and... It might save someone's life, or it might save them from, from being attacked. Right? <clears throat> so as I say, you throw a block. Boom, boom. We want to throw a kick. Boom, boom. Always be ready. You throw one move, as I say every show, you throw one move, be ready for another move. Never say, oh, there's one by one. No, one move is one of 100,000 million moves you could do in a row. All right, so just think, pop, 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 up, kick, one, two, three, and just, you're going to go. Easy stuff, all right? Da, da. And if you take this umbrella and start moving it around, all right, and just um, get the balance of the middle of the umbrella, all right? You get the balance, all right? You can start moving this thing around, right? Uh, if someone's coming at you and you start playing this game, right, they're going to say, well, all right, not you. The next person, they're going to go. I guarantee it. And it's fun. It's, it's, it costs you nothing. What I recommend is if you're going to practice, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this out of experience, if you're going to practice with something like this and you're going to start twirling around in your bedroom, all right, you need a lot of room, all right? As growing up as a... As a uh, a teenager in Taekwondo with nunchucks and, and sticks and stuff in my mother's and father's big bedroom. I thought I had enough room. Boy, did I demolish a lot of lamps and, and, uh, and light, light fixtures and, and mirrors in her room because she had the big room. Um, 
<clears throat> and sometimes not because I was too close, because as I was doing this, it left my hand. All right? I, I slipped, and it went then right through the mirror or right to a, a nice lamp. So I got in trouble a lot. So you, you want to make sure you're doing this in an area. Uh, I used to want to practice in front of a mirror. So she had the big mirror, and I took a lot of her uh, knickknacks out of play and whatever. So you have to make sure that you have control, number one, and have a lot of room. You want a place where you can have, where you can have a, um, a mirror, all right, so you can watch yourself and, and make different moves. And when you, <clears throat> you know, as I say, you can come in this way, all right, that's a bayonet type of attack. And boy, someone's coming at you straight. This is hard to defend, all right? This might be a block. They might be able to block this. But if they're coming in fast at you and you, and you do this with the pointy end, you're going to stop them in their tracks. It's hard to stop it because it's hard to block. Even if they kind of blocked it, you might get right in. And they don't want to get hit in the face. They don't want to get in the throat. So this, zoom. And notice how I'm getting to a stance, all right? And I'm going in straight. See, I try to go parallel with the, with the floor, right? Boom! They're coming in. They're coming in, right? Boom! As they're coming in, meet them, right? This way, both hands this way. This way, you turn the hand. Boom! They're coming down, all right? What happens is any situation where they grab you or whatever, that's when you, if you do a little practicing on, on watch how you can move and maneuver this umbrella, um, any situation, you'll be able to adapt to that situation and get in, all right? Whether it's the butt end here, all right, you're coming up here, so under the, under the jaw here, coming in down, boom. <clears throat> and as I say, if you had a cane, even a walking stick, uh, you know, especially older people, as you get older, they get a nice little walking stick. You're just walking. That walking stick isn't just, it's just not just to walk. That can save your life and that can help you keep an intruder away. And you know, a lot of times people, they, when they attack you, they have reasons what they want to attack you for. Um, whether it's your money or any other thing that they want to attack you for. Um, it's a matter of life and death because you don't know. So don't say, I don't want to hurt someone. If you don't want to hurt someone at that point, they're going to hurt you. They realize that. Show them that you mean business. All right? Talk loud, scream, and, and show them. Uh, I, I, if you can run, you can run. A lot of people can't run away because they're going to get caught from behind anyway. All right? So in and, and this day, times are changing. It used to, it used to be uh, whatever they say, uh, they let you go. No, they don't let you go anymore. You, you see how society, society is. Um, so you have to fight them. And, and you'll be, you, you'll, it's probably the best thing uh, if you have something. Right? If you can't throw a kick or you can't throw a punch, you have this. Now, and, and just practice and easy. Look at, you get off the couch. Whoa, look how easy I'm going. One, two. Look at, up. All right? Down. Block. 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 Kick. Attack, attack, kick. Even if it's midsection, hit, kick, anything you do. And if you're going to use this as um, a diversion in, in their faces, follow it up with a little kick. So they see that coming and they're going to try to block. It's coming to their face. Now now's the time as they're up here blocking so that they don't get hit with this, you kick them low section or midsection. What a good kick. And once you get the one or two blows off and you see it, and then maybe run, scream, do whatever you have to do uh, to get the attention. Get attention so someone will help you. They don't want attention, number one. They don't want you to know that they're there so they can attack you, and they don't want attention. What they want is they want to get you quickly, all right? They want to get you quickly, take you down quickly without any noise, without you screaming. So you have to pay attention again. You got to get off those iPhones at night when you're walking to your car. During the day, it might be a little better, you know, people around. At night, that's when the bad guys come out, all right? <clears throat> so if you're watching the show and you're married or you have a, a, a daughter, uh, it doesn't matter who you have. In a, 
Watch, have them watch the show, all right? And, ha and just say, well, let's get an umbrella. Let's practice a couple of moves, all right? What was he doing coming around here down? What's that? That's kind of fancy, but, you know, come here. Whoa, whoa. All I did was come around my arm. Da, da. Then I kept hitting. Ba, boom. All right, come back in. Practice all the different ways and different angles you can come in. So that if they grab you either way, you can, you can throw. And also, two people are here. Right. One, two, three. Look at kick, hit, hit, hit. I have this. I'm gonna. I'm the, the, the five, six people coming in. I'm gonna give them my best, all right. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to get all in the vulnerable spots in their body, and I'm gonna give them the shot. Go to the next person. <clears throat> you know, when you get a, when you get something like an object like this, and you just touch parts of your body, just touch very lightly, a lot of pain, all right. Just touch. Say, wow. So what if I went in, it went in full throttle? You knock people out, you break a bone. You'll cut them open. Right? So you can't play with this with people. And I, every show I tell you that when I give, give you any kind of self-defense, don't go with your friends and go, hey, look what I can do, because you're going to hurt someone. All right? You, you take someone's eye out. You just can't play around. But you do it in a good, controlled manner. And I, I like to do the mirror. Stay away from the mirror. Stay away from all the lamps and lights and the, the, the knickknacks. And... Uh, and, and work around. Try to say, wow, I have a weapon in my hand. This is great. Now I'll walk in the, I'll walk in the store. Now I know. Now I'm ready. Someone wants to come and attack me. Now that's all the time we have tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. As I say, the next show, I'm going to have someone here. I'm going to show you how to get out of uh, some holes and, and do some strangle uh, techniques using the umbrella again. So next time, have fun and train hard. Thank <laughs> you.